Hello chat friends and welcome to the Isle of Chess channel and welcome back to our common chess games played by computer series. So in this series we're covering some great games that are played by top engines and today I've prepared again a beautiful game played by the new Stockfish version by the new Stockfish 15 against another top engine Ruby Chess. So this game is again a beautiful sharp attacking game played by the Stockfish version but uh, I really wanted to show you this game because again we have a King's Indian attack and I think we miss a little bit the King's Indian attack because it's a cool opening it's a flexible opening that you can play over and over again against particular defenses you can use really the king's indian attack approach against i don't know the perch defense you can use it against the Kadokan. you can use it against the french defense you can even use it against the sicilian and in this game you see a beautiful king's indian attack approach played by stockfish against the sicilian so as i said sometimes chess doesn't have to be so complicated sometimes you don't have to study so much of theory you just maybe have uh, this king's indian attack approach and you play it many many times against all of these defenses so as i said i think this game it's really instructive because it has really the most important uh, attacking elements of the king's indian attack so uh, let's see now the game uh, stockfish opened with the move e4 we have c5 by rubiches we have knight f3 e6 the french sicilian uh, with the idea of course to break through with the move d5 and stockfish slows down the pace of the game plays now the move d3 which is now the more close system uh, now with the move g3 bishop to g uh, bishop to g2 stockfish is announcing of course the king's indian attack attack so here in the continuation we have knight to c6 we have g3 uh, knight to f6 uh, bishop to g2 d6 kingside casting bishop to e7 and now with the move c3 we have now also the preparation to play the move d4 here it will be just simply castle so as i said this position has been played i think millions and millions of times so it's a playable position for white and for black uh nothing special is going on so far uh, that's why i love to cover these games because i think we can see many times some games that we have already played before but didn't play maybe the games in the best continuation so here after move kingside casting now comes a very important um, king King's Indian attack move which is now the move uh, queen to e2 and if you have followed maybe my French defense series I have covered uh, the King's Indian attack against the French defense um, and also the move queen to e2 was a natural move in these types of structures because we have to say many things about this move first of all this move queen to e2 is supporting the further e5 attack so many times we want to play the move e5 in the King's Indian attack and then we can also support our e5 attack with the move bishop to f4 but also what we can and create here is a d file attack so we have liberated now the square uh, d1 for the rook and if something clears on the d file then of course the queen on d8 could be endangered uh, with some tactical possibilities by white so as i said this move is very very important to know in the king's indian attack structure so we have now b6 and this is now quite a provocative move by uh, by uh, rubiches because it seems so that you could maybe pull off this one liberating maybe the diagonal gets the rook but actually after d takes e5 it just simplifies the game in black's favor i think after knight to e5 a knight to e5 can be played and even if you take here then you lose a very important pawn here in the center of the board d3 and even if you try i don't know maybe something like rook to d1 nothing special will change because c4 is supporting now the knight and the knight is becoming now the best piece on the board it becomes the so-called octopus knight and in the continuation if you retreat then you see e5 and in the continuation i think we can even support it with e4 and when that happens i think if we manage to support uh this knight on d3 with two of our pawns then uh white could face many many positional problems so as i said this is uh something that you should not do of course you could also try here queen to e5 instead of taking the rook but now with bishop to d6 you first get kicked away then queen to e2 and then with rook to b8 we'd get out of the range and i think uh we have here a huge strategical problem which is now a weird pawn on d3 that could be of course attacked by uh by black in the continuation bishop to a6 maybe could be also a great attacking idea so as i said this is something that you should not do after move b6 stockfish develops knight, the knight on a, uh, a3 is preparing knight to c2 and then uh, to support for the, the d4, d4 pawn break sure. so we have bishop to a6 we have rook to b1 very important move because uh, now the ruby chess is pretty much forced to play the move d5 if you don't play d5 if you play i don't know b5 uh, to support for the attack here on the b4 then actually with b4 um, white will solve all of the positional problems on this side of the board because we have to say it black has a slight advantage on the queen side white 
has a slight advantage on the king side so i think with the move b4 uh, white is solving every problem on the queen side because you can maybe take a takes b uh, pardon me c takes b4 c takes b4 and you could maybe try to move um, here d5 again uh to attack the uh, pawn on b4 further but now with knight to c2 everything is glued together everything is compact and we can still work on our uh, main king's indian attack plan with the move e5 as i said this is now our main goal and then uh, white could have a decent game for sure so as i said after move rook to b1 that's why here d5 immediately was played by by ruby just not allowing this move b4 by stockfish so here in the continuation after d5 we have e5 which is now a very very good move and this is the move that we have been waiting for this is now our king's indian attack move because after knight to d7 we can notice now that we have now a space advantage you see now how important it was to have the queen already on e2 and the space advantage is giving now i think uh white a good attacking chance because um, what we can see now after move e5 and the knight to d7 black is lacking now in defenders so what i mean about this uh, when the knight want to set an ff6 okay maybe the bishop we can call as defender but i think the most important defensive piece was the knight on f6 now when the knight is maneuvered here to d7 now there are very really some uh tactical problems here around the king especially if the bishop somehow gets maybe here on this diagonal then uh this could be a deadly position then for black so after move knight to d7 we have this idea rook to d1 as we said if something clears on the d5 then the queen could be in danger so we have b5 now d4 uh we have c takes d4 c takes d4 and now queen to a5 the idea is clear we want to play b4 create an attack against the knight and also a double attack against the queen and now comes uh this defensive idea bishop to f1 but this is not only a defensive move uh of course b4 is not possible now if you play that then uh bishop to, uh, queen takes a6 queen takes a6 bishop to a6 okay you could also take out the knight but now with bishop to b7 you see both of these uh, pieces are hanging if you move the knight then uh, of course so white is simply with the exchange so it's a game over i think here for black so that was a very very cool move this move bishop to f1 but it's not only preventing this b4 idea the cool part about this move bishop to f1 is as i said we are maneuvering now the bishop on this diagonal because when the knight moved as i said when the knight moved on d7 now black doesn't have so many defenders now with bishop to d3 i don't know even if the bishop moves somewhere then we could even maybe pull off the greek gift tactic with bishop to h7 knight to g5 queen to h5 so you see all of white's pieces would then aim against black's king so this is now something that bothers i think black in the continuation of the game so we have rook from f to c8 here played by uh, ruby chess engine and this is now the correct move by the rooks because it's a little bit different to play uh, rook from f to c8 or rook from a8 to c8 uh, we have talked many times uh, in my videos about this correct move with the rooks believe me or not i've played hundreds of times the wrong move with the rook that's i think something that bothers many many players uh, where to place our rooks and i think uh, rook from uh, f to c8 is much more correct because uh, for instance if the queen gets endangered then we can always escape to d8 and still uh, you see black didn't lose uh, the rook connection the rook connection is a very important stage uh, in the middle game stage in the opening whatever you like but as i said if uh, the queen comes on d8 then we didn't lose uh, the rook connection here by black if you play rook from a to c8 if the queen gets endangered you get something uh, like queen to d8 then you don't have anymore the rook connection so you should always consider your rook moves because many times uh simple games are won just by one slightly inaccurate move by the rooks as i said you should really really uh, be careful when you are playing with the rooks so here i move bishop to f1 as we said rook from f to c8 knight to c2 uh this is a tricky move because of course if you take then you get rook to a1 and the bishop on a6 is hanging so that's why knight to uh knight to b8 and this is now a clear idea because i move b4 uh because now white wanted uh pardon me black wanted to play the move b4 and again attack the queen and then of course black you have some great spaces here on the queen side but now stockfish prevents this idea by playing the move b4 and the problem is now with the after move queen to a2 you see the c file is now liberated and here uh the ruby chess engine is attacking also the knights so stockfish lost the pawn and we have to also say that after move b4 there are now many many weaknesses here the weak square a4 the weak square c4 the knight is attacked but uh, still i think this is a much much better position for white especially because of the fact that now the bishop is here locked the knight is out of game and as i said okay maybe we have some 
um, problems here a little bit on the queen side but these problems can be solved but now when the bishop comes on d3 this is really really a deadly position for for black so after move queen to a2 we have rook to b2 attacking the queen queen to c4 so it's here ruby chess is desperate three of course trying now to simplify the game and uh, this is now um, a great method what talker should apply here and a very important rule uh, which says when you are on the attacking side and i think we can agree that white is on the attacking side especially because of the fact that we have here a space advantage in the center you should not trade off queens you should not simplify the game because you're down a pawn if you trade off the queens then you don't have so many attacking opportunities so that's why rook to d3 you see stockfish covers uh, itself with the rook uh, not allowing here the trades of queens so we have knight to a knight to b6 uh, preparing of course knight to a4 or maybe here even knight to c4 so we have knight to g5 and now the fun starts you can guess what what will happen now a couple more moves knight to g5 so stockfish is saying okay you had your fun on the queen side now it's my time to attack okay knight to g5 the problem is now bishop to g5 is not so good because you get bishop to g5 and okay you can maybe try to attack the rook but now the problem is now you get this intermediate attack uh, we have uh, knight to e3 the queen has to step back and now with the move rook to b3 again white is solving every positional problem the problem is knight to c3 is not working you have covered this uh, uh, square now even if you try to get back with your pieces but look at this knight is out of game bishop is out of game now white will have some fun by playing queen to h5 and the problem is now after bishop to b7 if you try to get your pieces into the game then knight to g4 is simply winning there's nothing that can be done against knight to f6 or knight to h6 so uh you're getting destroyed here on dark squares uh you can use of course also the move rook to f3 maybe including the rook into the game bishop to d3 is working here so you see how white will suddenly maneuver all of the pieces towards the king's end and will destroy of course black tactically in front of the king so this is simply not working so after move knight to g5 what uh, ruby just tried is of course knight to a4 counterattack against the rook on b2 but stockfish first creates this counterattack because of course knight to uh, b2 is not working you get checkmated here on h8 so um uh, in the continuation bishop to g5 was played by ruby chess uh, giving up now the bishop we have said there could be maybe some tactical problems after you lose the dark for bishop but now after rook to f3 we have now again a double attack you see uh, the queen is hanging and also the f7 pawn is hanging so that's why queen to c7 and now uh this is the move that we have been waiting for bishop to d3 and this is really really wild what's going on now because um uh what, what you could do maybe here is h6 you can maybe support the bishop that you have gained but uh, the problem is now this one you get bishop to g5 uh okay you could maybe even try to tra uh, take out the rook but now with bishop to h6 the game is over you look how stockfish is preparing this dirty tactics after uh, g takes h6 you get this one bishop to h7 look at this even if you try i don't know king to h7 then you get here rook to f7 and you lose the queen so uh even if you try i don't know something like king to g7 seven then you get rook to f6 and uh, queen to h6 it's again simply losing whatever you do if you if you try king to h8 then of course queen to h6 is going to happen and now there are really this this cover attack possibility so this is simply not working so after move h6 again uh, black is getting destroyed for sure so in the continuation after bishop to d3 what ruby chess tried is of course g6 but now we want to take the bishop in a different way it's not the same way if you take the bishop when g6 has been played or when g6 has not been played but because now with the move g6 we can notice that we have created new structural weaknesses we have created now the dark square problems in front of the king and look at this black doesn't have any more the dark square uh bishop and now of course white is trying to sneak in in the game uh, with the queen and the bishop so here the continuation we have queen to d8 again the ruby chess is trying to simplify the game by trading off the pieces if you try something like knight to b2 again this is not working because bishop to b2 okay queen to d8 uh, queen to f4 is going to happen you have to uh, cover down uh, your f7 square and even if you try it on rook to c7 then again this problem knight to e3 you could maybe try h5 because you have to protect now your g4 square knight to f6 is going to happen but even after h5 we can now play queen to h6 and as i said this is now uh simply lost game here tactically for um for black even if you try instead of this h5 maybe 
to play something like um, knight to c6 then we can play of course knight to g4 knight to f6 and again you're getting destroyed on dark sports so um as i said the the, the the whole game changed i think after move g6 because uh the stock was simply forced now this weaknesses after move queen to g5 queen to d8 was played instead of knight to b2 so this knight to b2 is simply too slow you have to now include the queen into the defense we have queen to h6 stock is trying now to stay uh with an attack on dark horse we have queen to f8 and now queen to h4 knight to d7 we have rook to a2 uh, if you try again knight to b2 again bishop to b2 with same ideas again we get this bishop here we can uh, we get this bishop on h6 on g5 so uh, there's not a good way here to protect the dark horse anymore so uh after move uh, knight to d7 was played instead of knight takes b2 now stockfish is finally getting back uh, with the rook uh, not uh, allowing again now to uh, the ruby chest to take out the rook anymore we have rook to c4 this is now again maybe sort of an idea to finally get this bishop into the game i'm not sure why but um, here the bishop is on a6 for the whole game it's such a paralyzed bishop and the knight is also okay it had some fun here on a4 but it's not on the edge of the board this knight is also out of the game because uh, these two squares are uh, taking the rook didn't play in the game so far and now this is a really desperate try just to somehow include the pieces in the game stockfish is not reacting place normally here against the star score problems uh, bishop to h6 knight to e5 this was again now a desperate try because uh, first of all we have rook to e3 you have to now make a decision uh, we have uh, uh, queen to d8 again trying to simplify the game and now stockfish plays this normal bishop to g5 although uh but what to do you could maybe try f6 but again bishop to f6 is going to happen okay maybe you could cover here the uh the seventh rank but again nothing didn't change dramatically so we have queen to c7 now rook to uh, e5 here ruby just tries so queen to e5 we have bishop to c4 although you can even play here d takes e5 if now uh, rook to h4 happened then we could play bishop to h4 and still of course white is up a whole piece and has now completely completely winning again but stockfish played now bishop to c4 now we have queen to c7 bishop to f6 again uh, stockfish is preparing checkmate on g7 so that's why you have to uh, bring the queen to d6 because now uh, you're at least protecting somehow the position after queen to h6 you can at least play queen to f8 so that's why after move queen to d6 stockfish played bishop to f1 retreated now uh with the bishop here we have uh, h5 and now queen to g5 again uh the stockfish engine is trying to sneak in with the queen so we have king to h7 uh, we have g4 uh, we have uh, knight to um, c3 and now very important one of course bishop to d3 because if you take uh, knight to uh, knight to uh, a2 then you get queen to h5 you have to step back here and then you get queen to h8 a beautiful checkmate so that's why knight to e4 here we have bishop to e4 uh, d takes e4 and now knight to e3 uh, now the bishop is also hanging but again uh, we have still these problems on dark horse so we have rook to g uh, rook to g8 and now stockfish plays bishop to e5 queen to d8 queen takes d8 rook takes d8 and after uh, rook takes uh, a6 in this position uh, ruby chess resigns of course uh, black is uh, uh, simply lost white is two extra pieces and it's simply game over so really really great attacking game i think it shows really some great attacking elements of the king's indian attack especially uh, when you play the move e5 um, let's go back so d5 here uh, e5 then we have this space advantage then we want to just attack this side of the board okay we have to agree black had some great chances here and that's how you should play the game tactically not uh, positionally anymore because um sometimes some of, the, of these things are bothering us but you have to include all of your pieces into the game and especially i uh, like this maneuver bishop to f1 bishop to d3 and notice now that black was simply lacking defenders stock was provoked and also some weaknesses and destroyed again uh, this other engine with some beautiful and immortal tactics so okay i hope that you enjoy the game i really really enjoyed it a lot the interesting ideas of the king's indian attack as i said if you want to study these openings uh, please do so because you can use this king's indian attack against many many methods against the french karokan first defense many many defensive ideas that are popular while black if you want to see more attacking brilliances like this check out my comment to chess games played by computer series with some more great games played by stockfish alpha zero lila zero dragon engine and many many more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course